Luna Month Creations and I am back with my Witch's Roots for August 2022. I'm super excited. I actually got like so many boxes like yesterday. They all came in the mail. So we'll see what I can get through today. So hello and welcome guys. If you are new to my channel, my name is Lisa and on my channel I like to do lots of witchy things including unboxings. So so the Witch's Roots, if you guys are unfamiliar, is from the Witch's Moon. And this is their, they have three different boxes. This is their um, box that's concentrated on like an herb each month. And it's their lower end box. And then they have their regular Witch's Moon that's got like all kinds of goodies. And then they have um, their Witch's Bounty, which I don't subscribe to. It's a little, it's, it's the priciest one. And it's all about like jewelry. And guys, if you watch, I like barely ever wear jewelry. Only if I go somewhere. And guys, I work from home. So, mm -hmm. not going that many places. So, maybe one day I will because they do have some cool pieces. Sorry, I've got like, I think I've got food in my teeth. <laughs> I'm still eating breakfast. I'm on second breakfast. We've got our um, strawberry bagel. Well, the bagel's not strawberry. It's um, a regular plain bagel with strawberry cream cheese. Okay, move along. I like the um, the theme for this box, the psychic vision. As practitioners, we are truly in awe of the information we receive from those things that are considered metaphysical or not visible in the physical realm. These are the gifts that we hold as seekers of spiritual and occult wisdom. We work to catch the cue that is passed to us through spiritual guides. These messages can be found within intuitive practices, divination, signs, symbols, gentle reminders, or impressions. In this very special collection, we work with a variety of very unique tools. I feel like I got like shit all over my face. <laughs> Oh, uh, that are intended to walk with us on our journey into intuitive realms. The magical items in this box are as follows. All right, let's see what we got here. First, is this our is this our um, oracle reading? So it's small. We've got this chick here on the front there. She, I can't tell what she's doing. Anyways, on the back it says there is a golden place within you. Do not seek to find calm outside of yourself. You must cultivate it within. When you do this, the golden space within will grow, changing and nourishing your energy and bringing peace to the world. Very nice. Um, this is, we have meditated and selected a card from the Calming Inspirations deck by Lucy Cavendish to place inside your box. This card and the message that is included were meant for you. Take time to reflect on the wisdom that it holds Know that there is a specific reason you have received this card. Yes. Mm -hmm. That was very nice. All right. And then our artwork. And I've got to say that the Witch's Moon has the best artwork. And we have Sodalite. So I guess that's going to be our crystal. And I love me some Sodalite. It is gorge. All right. So... Sodalite Book of Shadows reference page. This truly inspired Sodalite reference artwork holds wonderful information regarding the magical properties and importance of this sacred stone. Placed within your Book of Shadows for future reference. Written and illustrated by A.E. Eldon. And then our, um, apparently our herb is going to be Demania. I sell it in my shop, y'all. <laughs> and there is the artwork. And... Demania Herbal Grimoire Artwork. We have partnered with a very talented local artist to create an exclusive piece of artwork to honor Demania. Add this beautiful artwork to your Book of Shadows, Herbal Grimoire, or place on your altar for display. Written and illustrated by A. E. Eldon. All right, we have a little bit of crinkle paper to add to our monster on the floor over here. All right, put that down there. He's gonna get big today. All right, and so let's get our sachet with our crystal and it's going to be sunlight. Oh, this one's a little different. Hopefully it's translating. So we have our soda light. Sodalite Tumbled Stone. We have included a Sodalite Tumbled Stone within this collection to bring enhanced insights during your psychic practices. Allow the stone to be your companion on your journey through deep, deeper intuition. 
elemental connection is wind and water and planetary is Venus and Earth and it actually goes with your, um, your throat chakra. So I'm just gonna rub it <laughs> on my throat. I didn't say that there, but I just told you. Okay, so we have our spell candle. I need an ink pen. Do I have a pen in here? I have a pencil. Okay, that'll work. Um, okay, I opened it from the butt end, <laughs> but it's a blue. They always give you like a mini spell candle. It's a rolled beeswax candle. Um, but I like to like keep some of the paper on it and then write which candle it is. So when I put it in my cabinet over here that um, when I'm ready to use it, I know what it is. Calming intuition. I'm going to write that down here. Calming whoop, intuition. My dog is crying out there. Okay. We have hand rolled this calming intuition mini spell candle with the intention of activating your psychic sight during divination or meditation. As you allow the flame to dance before you, take the time to clear your thoughts, easing your anxieties and frustrations so that you may see, you may receive messages more clearly. Very nice. I like to receive messages clearly. What about you guys? Speaking of clear messages, <laughs> my friends are blowing up my phone. Okay. Well, let's go ahead and get out our herb for the month. So we've got Demania leaf. And again, I sell these in one ounce baggies with my apothecary label on the front that gives you some properties. And then also I do them in um, little, little, glass jars with a cork. Um, if you guys ever go to my shop and it looks like I'm out of the cork, the, the glass jars, just message me because um, I probably can make those up. I just don't have them all listed in there because um, I don't want to run out. Anyways, that's another story. Okay, we were, we were so thrilled to have the opportunity to include Demania within this collection due to its seasonal rarity. Demania has been a prominent herb within several ancient cultures and traditions, commonly known for its ability to serve as an aphrodisiac and included within a variety of love and passion spells originating from South America. Its medicinal use is found as far back as the ancient Aztecs and Mayans. It is recorded that the Mayans referred to Demania as Mizibak, Mizibak, Mizibizibakak. Mm -hmm. Yep. This specific demonia leaf is sourced from Mexico and has been cut and sifted. Although the dried leaves are the common interest of sourcing, common interest of sourcing, the entire plant is powerfully aromatic and also bears edible fruits that are you that excuse me that are said to be similar to taste in taste to the fig. Although there are strong benefits for assisting in love and passion, demonia continues to offer the very unique ability to push us into meditative and altered states. You can commonly find demonia included within herbal blends that are used for smoking or included within ritual incense blends to aid in divinatory practices and astral travel. You may also find demonia included within herbal tea blends to aid in conjuring lucid dreams during sleep. Classified as a member of the passion flower family, Demania serves as a relaxing agent and a smoother of moods, smoother of moods. We recommend taking the time to work with the herb slowly to gauge its effect on your practice. Start by including a small portion of Demania to an incense blend you intend to burn during vision or divinatory work. As you allow the smoke to wave throughout your space, allow the energies of this sacred herb to elevate your consciousness if you prefer not to include demonia within an incense blend, include it within an herbal altar offering to call upon your guides. Um, this says intended for ritual use, external use, external use recommended. We recommend knowing any allergies and or sensitivities you may have, blah, blah, blah. Uh, planetary connection, Mars, gender masculine and elemental is fire. Um, in my shop, if you guys are interested in herbs, in the description, I do give you um, like uh, metaphysical properties, but I also tell you if they're organic and if they're food grade. So if you guys do want to make like teas and stuff like that, um, if it says food grade, then obviously you can do that. So. Which I try to get as many food, well, some things they're just not going to be food grade. 
because um, they're never intended to be food grade. <laughs> but I try to get really good. I have a really great, okay, I have a really great supplier. <laughs> And they're always like super awesomely fresh. Okay. Whoa. I was just talking about this goddess. So we have a Selene, which is like basically the moon goddess. Um, okay. We're going to put it on on top of oil that I already have on. Mmm. I do really enjoy this company's oils too. Um, I've said it before. Their Freya oil. Oh, so good. There was another one that I was like super obsessed with. I can't remember what it is, but anyways, itchy. Celine Magical Anointing Oil. We have created this very special oil blend that I got all over my paper to enhance your connection with lunar cycles and energies. Each full moon, anoint your tools with a drop of this anointing oil to aid in shining light on the wisdom that is stored with the recent cycles experiences. We have enchanted this magical anointing oil with rose, Ylang Ylang, Gardenia, Jasmine, and Chamomile oils. Sorry. I'm always burping with my drink. <laughs> In addition, we have included Demania and Jasmine herbs as well. Inside your oil, you will find a Lumerian quartz said to personify oneness into your aura. We have also included a special mixture of our Goddess of the Night magical oil from our personal cabinet of witchery into the making of this anointing oil. Very nice. This over there. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. All right. Now we've got some ritual incense. And that's all it says. Ritual incense. Smell it. Luna. And maybe that's why there's a moon on there. There's like a moon. So Luna ritual incense sticks. Smells good. These wonderfully fragrant ritual incense sticks were placed within this collection to bring you nurturing and intuitive energies during your practice. As you allow the smoke from this incense to wave throughout your space, take a deep and intentional breath, allowing yourself to clear any tangled emotions and thoughts that may be holding you in a stagnant position. Very nice. I'm like so itchy. Oh my God. <laughs> I am allergic big time to um, Moline. It is a herb that I sell in my shop. I thought about discontinuing it because I'm pretty allergic to it. Um, and I think my allergy is getting worse. Like I, like I start like coughing and sneezing and having like drainage and stuff in my throat. And um, I'm like, one of these days my throat's gonna, I'm gonna become anaphylactic and my throat's gonna close up. <laughs> selling freaking Moline. It's very popular though. So I keep selling it. Um, I'm just trying to take precautions when I, um, when I do things with it. Okay. So now this is our last item. Get this box out of our way. It's right over there. <laughs> moon magic, deep moon messages. We have a little Oracle deck and it's magnetic. <laughs> How to use the cards. Our ancient ancestors often relied on divination to gain insight. We too, as modern people, can also benefit from receiving regular messages from the energies. Pull a single card each day. It is a simple act that will help guide your day with a solitary insight. Hold the affirmation to your heart and integrate it for the day. Okay. So they each have a different picture on the back. And then on the other side, there is like an affirmation. I'll show you like the pictures and then um, we will pull a card and I'll read the affirmation because it will be our affirmation for today. So it looks like a bunch of like um, moons and like celestial business. Very nice. Some of them are kind of dark, so hopefully you guys can kind of see. Oh, look at the lion. Hey, you're pretty. Oh, 
one of my girlfriends um, has a telescope and she took a picture of the moon the other day and sent it to me. It was super cool. Or whenever it was full last. It's coming up to be a full moon, isn't it, y'all? I'm pretty sure. Um, I'm a terrible witch. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure, like, the full moon is, like, it's really soon, I think. I'll know when I start working, because we get, like, tons of patience. That's, it's not, it's not like a, um, a myth, y'all. People, people get crazy up in there. Like, the police, and the, the first responders, and, and all the medical people, we's all busy. <laughs> I have any any medical people in the house you guys know okay we're almost done <laughs> did I show you the box I showed you the box didn't I I'm like double fisting it now <laughs> This one and this one. All right, let's see what our affirmation is for today. So these are like interesting, sh uh, like shape. All right, what is our affirmation for today? All right, I shine my light outwards for all to see. Well, and okay, so. Then it says moon goddess Diana. So there is the picture and there is our affirmation. I shine my light outwards for all to see. I shine my light outwards for all to see. Can you guys see my light? <laughs> so y'all shine your light too. <laughs> all right, so that is our witch's roots. There's that moon magic deck. Oh, I guess I didn't read about it. Moon magic deck by Stacy DeMarco. This wonderful small deck is a great friend to carry with you during your daily routines. As stated within this deck, which I already read the inside, so I won't read it again. So guys, that is our Witch's Roots for August 2022. What do you think? What is your favorite item? Um, as always, I love their artwork and their oils. And of course, this little deck is super cute. So I'll try to start pulling affirmations um, and writing in my planner to uh, let it sink in and and put it out into the world and stuff like that. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm going to stop. <laughs> if you guys wouldn't mind giving me a thumbs up, leaving me a comment below, really helps out my channel. And if you guys are not a current subscriber, I would love if you would hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss any of my videos. And guys, you already know, if you're a subscriber, we's best friends. We're right here, dog. <laughs> I don't know where that came from. <laughs> and until I'm just gonna stop. And until next time, guys, have a great day. Bye.